In this video, we'll be showing you how to create a component in Circuit Studio, which includes creating a schematic symbol, PCB footprint, and linking a 3D model. So let's get started. We'll begin by creating a new schematic library document. Once opened, we can create our symbol with the available tools under the Home tab. In our example, we want to make a resistor symbol, so we'll use a polyline tool to draw the symbol shape. After finishing the drawn parts of the symbol, we'll use a pin tool to place two pins, allowing us to connect the symbol to other components in the schematic. Now that our symbol is complete, let's give it some parameter values. This can be done by double-clicking or by going to Library, Component Properties. In the Parameters section of the Properties window, we'll select Add, opening up a Properties window for this parameter. From here, we'll enter a parameter name and a value. To finish up our schematic symbol, we can attach it to a real-world part so we can easily reuse it in future design projects. To do this, we'll right-click the symbol and select Supplier Links. Here, we'll search for a component. Once your preferred part is selected, clicking OK will automatically link it to your component, providing you with a real, purchasable part association. With our symbol created, we can move on to making a footprint for our board layout. To create a footprint, we'll first need to create a new PCB library document. Before making a footprint, it's good practice to change your preferred units and grid size. Under the Home tab, we'll select Metric for the units, then Grid, Properties, and assign Step X and Y to 0.95mm. Now that our workspace is set up, let's create two pads for our resistor. In the Home tab at the top, select Pad. Before placing it, press Tab on your keyboard to bring up the footprint properties. From here, we can change the layer, size, and shape settings to align with the physical constraints from a datasheet. After placing the two pads down next to our origin point, we'll draw a silkscreen border around the pads with the line command. To finalize our footprint, we'll embed a 3D step model into our design for a real-life visual on our completed component and footprint. First, on the Home tab, select 3D Body to open up the 3D Body panel. From here, we'll choose a generic step model as the type, then embed step model to add our model file. Once selected, click OK and position your step model on your footprint. Now that it's positioned, we can view it in 3D. Switch to the View tab, then select Switch to 3D, or press the 3 key on your keyboard. This will give you an immediate view on your embedded component model and footprint in full 3D. Our footprint and schematic symbols are both now complete. Remember to save your work with the File Save option.